the classic checkerboard formation may be easy to set up, but it has some key weaknesses that can be exploited by your enemy. So today we'll be taking a look at the chevron formation and how it can give you an advantage over your enemies. The checkerboard formation's main weakness is that units directly in front of your melee infantry cannot be fired upon. Only units that fold upon your unit's flanks can be targeted. This requires solid leadership on your frontline infantry, since if one breaks it creates a massive gap that will be a nightmare to deal with. The chevron formation resolves this weakness by using two units of melee infantry, allowing one to fall as the other keeps the blob of units at bay. This formation also allows all enemy melee infantry to be fired upon by missiles, as you have line of sight on everything. After the initial volley, pull your gunners back into a mirrored version of your front line. The gun chevrons will have a perfect line of sight on the melee infantry lines, and they will be shooting into the sides of enemy infantry, negating their shield bonuses. This formation also allows your bullets to be shot into the entire length of the enemy formation, which means nearly no missed shots. Shots that miss the first target will simply travel down the entire enemy formation and hit the next target behind them. Your gunners are also pre-turned toward each other so that units that move past your front line to chase your guns are already walking into a crossfire. And by following these tips you can use your gunpowder units more effectively in Total War Warhammer. Remember to experiment with different formations and tactics to find out what works best for you. And if you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.